Introduction Welcome to our channel, where we explore the mysteries of the universe. In this video, we will be discussing the importance of interstellar dust and how it reveals crucial information about the structure and activity within galaxies. Specifically, we will be looking at new images released by the Herschel Space Observatory, operated by the European Space Agency, that showcase the distribution of dust in four of the galaxies closest to the Milky Way. So, let's dive into the world of interstellar dust and uncover its secrets. Galaxies, like the Milky Way, are not just made up of stars. Think of stars as the chunks of vegetables in the galactic soup. The broth, then, in which they float, is the intergalactic medium, not empty space but filled with often tenuous, sometimes dense clouds of dust and gas that drift between the stars. Dust, from which stars are born and to which they return, can tell us a lot about the structure and activity within a galaxy. The images released by the Herschel Space Observatory show the distribution of dust in four of the closest galaxies to the Milky Way, the large and small Magallanes clouds, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Triangulum Galaxy. Without dust and gas, galaxies as we know them wouldn't exist. Stars form when a dense knot of material in a cold cloud of molecular gas collapses under gravity, incorporating material from the cloud around it. When that star dies, it ejects its outer material back into the space around it, with the new, heavier elements it fused during its lifetime. New stars are born to incorporate the dust from dead stars, making each subsequent generation of stars slightly different. The dust isn't uniformly distributed. Stellar winds, galactic winds, and the effects of gravity can all push and sculpt interstellar dust into complex shapes filled with cavities. The Herschel Space Observatory, with its ultra-cold operating temperature, could peer into the far infrared, imaging some of the coldest and dustiest objects in space, down to temperatures around minus 270 degrees Celsius, minus 454 degrees Fahrenheit. This includes the cold clouds in which stars are born and the dust in interstellar space. However, to fill in the gaps, a team of astronomers used data from three other retired telescopes, ESA's Planck and NASA's Infrared Astronomical Satellite, IRAS, and Cosmic Background Explorer, COBE. The images reveal complex interplays within the dust. Hydrogen gas appears in red, that's the most abundant element in the universe, so there's rather a lot of it. Cavities in the dust where newborn stars have blown it away with their intense winds appear as empty regions, surrounded by a green glow that indicates cold dust. Blue regions represent warmer dust, heated by stars or other processes. The Herschel images also reveal new information about the complex interactions that occur in interstellar dust. Heavy elements such as oxygen, carbon, and iron can often stick to dust grains. In the very densest clouds, most elements are bound to dust, increasing the dust to gas ratio. This can affect the way light is absorbed and re-emitted by dust. However, violent processes, such as star birth or supernovae, can release radiation that breaks apart the dust, releasing the heavy elements back into gaseous clouds. This tips the dust to gas ratio back towards gas. Conclusion Interstellar dust is a crucial tool for understanding the formation of galaxies and pretty much everything. The Herschel Space Observatory's new images provide valuable insight into the complexities of interstellar dust and its interactions. Join our YouTube channel Wild and Free Exploration next time as we explore.